Former Republican Congressman George Santos has pleaded guilty to wire fraud and identity theft. This plea deal could result in him spending years in prison and owing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Lisa Rosner has been covering Santos from his swearing in in Congress to his expulsion in D.C., and she has reaction tonight from his former constituents. I failed you. I know that my actions have caused disappointment, frustration, and a loss of faith in me, and for that I'm truly sorry. Former Congressman George Santos speaking outside the federal courthouse in Central Islip Monday after pleading guilty to wire fraud and aggravated identity theft. I should have done things differently. It's clear to me now that I allowed ambition to cloud my judgment, leading me to make decisions that were unethical and Pleading guilty is a step I never imagined I take, but it is a necessary one because it is the right thing to do. Word traveled fast in New York's third congressional district. I don't think he should just get away with a plea deal. Not at all. He's fine. Look, 90, 98% of what situation in this country go to plea bargain. So that's, that's what we have. The plea agreement calls for Santos to pay back nearly $400,000 in restitution. Jody Kasfinkel, founder of Concerned Citizens of District 3, says it's not enough. We want a full trial. We had no voice in Washington. We deserve an, uh, a full accounting of what really happened. The charges come with a two-year mandate minimum in jail, but the judge estimated a possible sentencing range between six and eight years. Former Santos Democratic opponent Robert Zimmerman. There's a certain appreciation to finally being heard and a sense of justice. Zimmerman added he wants to see Congress add staff to the Federal Election Commission, especially for auditing. It takes them two or three years for an analysis, long past Election Day, when the damage is done. Tiffany Muller of anti-corruption watchdog and Citizens United had filed three complaints with the FEC. She's calling for any representatives who received money from Santos to donate it. The plea agreement is absolutely essential to getting justice and to reestablishing trust between the American people and the government, but it shouldn't have taken so long. Sentencing is set for February 7th, 2025. In Whitestone, Queens, Lisa Rosner, CBS News, New York.